Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to Freaky Friday. I'm very, very excited to be checking out this movie. I don't know a ton about it, but what I do know excites me. I know that Lindsay Lohan is in this movie, and I thought she was amazing in The Parent Trap. What an incredible start to her career. Reacted to that one recently. And then Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm a big, big fan of hers. She's amazing in Trading Places, which I reacted to. And probably my favorite performance of hers is True Lies, which I also reacted to a while ago. Uh, both really, really fun movies. Just a very very, very talented comedic actress. Uh, to me, like Jamie Lee Curtis reminds me, although in a very different way, of Jennifer Aniston's talent, which I've come to really admire doing my friends' reactions. So just excited to kind of see that in a fun Halloween type movie. I'm pretty sure that it's the premise is that there's some type of uh, like curse and they swap bodies. So Jamie Lee Curtis is either the mom or just the adult figure. I'm pretty sure it's mom and daughter relationship, but she switches places with Lindsay Lohan, who's like a high school kid and I'm pretty sure it's also her daughter but I'm expecting lots of shenanigans craziness just an overall fun time very very excited to jump into it as always if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction and support the channel that is up on patreon next week's classic comedy reaction is also out there for early access if you'd care to support and let me know in the comments as always if you have any suggestions for Disney movies classic comedies rom-coms I'm generally doing it in like the 90s early 2000s era but any and all suggestions are appreciated in the comments down below let's just get right into it freaky friday what a song choice here for the opening a lot of moms and daughters here <laughs> Time for school and fun, fun, fun. <laughs> deep breath, deep breath. Honey, you gotta wake up. <laughs> You're not too old to get spanked. I mean, still gentler than if Brandon Rogers was your mom, right? Oh, no, 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 don't do that to me in the morning. <laughs> Anna, hurry up! That is such a teenager sign. I like that opening though. Just gonna get a little stud right here. I don't want my maid of honor looking like a little harm. I mean, she even got her ears pierced as a child and, uh, you know, the parent trap, okay? If I can drive. Fine, did you bring a permit? Can't find it. He's enjoying every minute of this fight. What did you do with it, troll? Oh, Anna, why do you always have to blame him for everything? I think he is guilty. Look at that smile. Hi, Stacy. You never see Stacy anymore. Evil. She hates <laughs> Would you leave your brother alone? She always starts it. <laughs> what a little troublemaker. Oh no, oh no, is there a bigger disaster in high school? No. I can't believe it, it's Jake. Guys, he's gonna think I'm so stupid, I can't even put on a shirt. He's not even looking. He's not? He's not looking, he's totally looking. Oh dang. How's this gonna go? And he's walking, he's walking, he's leaving, and gone. That was a fun commentary, no? Why would I want a leprechaun ice sculpture? Not even Irish. I'm Irish and I don't want one. <laughs> Watch where you're driving. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. You need the driver's permit, Mom. <laughs> oh, what did she get? A, D, D, what did she get? F, oh, no. Preposterous. Was that comment necessary? You completely missed the point of the book. I mean, it's a blatant attack on totalitarianism. About a rigid society dominated by one all-powerful ego-tripping dictator. Catch the hint. My grade is final. Oof, oof. Except he had hair. Oh, dang. That's a low blow. And up! Now it's like final, final, final. Although she was making some decent points about 1984, no? I haven't read it in a while. You have to do meatloaf. Turkey. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Oh, dang. His nose looks bad. I had some car trouble. I thought you forgot about me. I see you every day. Oh, she's a psychologist. Okay. Oh, this is going to be interesting when they swap, man. All my therapists quit on me. I'm going to be available on my cell phone. It will be fine. I mean, don't they always? <laughs> From friend to nemesis. Yeah, that's pretty rude. She's basically Rachel McAdams, no? She gonna hit it right at her head? 
brazen. I like it. Come on. <laughs> this lady is so cool. I love their relationship. No salmon. It has to be halibut. Hold on one second. He leads a busy life. May not touch the power tools. Yes, I would consider the lawnmower to be a power tool. <laughs> yes. Okay, halibut. I'm sorry, hold on one second. Elizabeth, I'll be at the appointment tomorrow. She's pretty good. She can just switch to her patient voice just like that. And you don't need a man to complete you. Oh. Oh, you touched her. She needed that. <laughs> you never know who you're going to help, you know? This is like episode one of Buffy, a little bit. If someone helps her and she had a stake. Uh, excuse me. Is this yours? Oh, it's Sons of Anarchy himself. Are you in a band? Oh, well, you know, we're so stuck in our garage phase, so. That's a necessary phase for every band, no? You can come check me out. I mean the band. I mean, I'll be there too if you want to come check. <laughs> Jake. <laughs> okay, well, she finally met him. You want to ride? Yeah, I'd like that. Tell me he's got a Harley. I mean, he's got a motorcycle. Look at this. I just realized I have to meet my friends. Your mom would kill you. That's true. <laughs> you like the hives? They're awesome. Just thinking maybe if you wanted to. Are you going to interrupt, bro? Are you kidding? This teacher, man, go home and read 1984 and other depressing literature, bro. I would be thinking a little less about boys and a little more about your honors qualifying. I'd be thinking a little bit more about keeps and a little bit less about young kids' lives, bro. Sorry. What does that mean? Exactly. I'm so grateful I had literature teachers who were smart and not jerks like that. <laughs> For the most part, right? Am I forgetting anyone who was bad? I don't think so. I think I was very lucky it's for English teachers. Other teachers, that's a different story. Oh, dang. Get out of my room! Ah! They've got a pretty cool setup in the garage. Hey, what happened? Nothing. Just sibling stress. We've all been there. Okay, we're we gonna go full Scott Pilgrim. Is that really Lindsay Lohan playing? That's really cool if it is. It looks like it is. Thank you. Don't drop. Ah! Come here. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> You're three. Ah! No, no, no. It could be a Halloween costume. Go back inside. I'll be right there. Ah! <laughs> I like their sound. Still has it stuck. Early! Hold on, I need my glass. <laughs> One of them fall? I don't wanna know. <laughs> You're early! I feel like I know this actor. What? I thought I'd ask the I can't author. Hear you. <laughs> what did they take? What did they take? A little guitar solo time, nice. I think Jack Black would accept her into the school, no? Oof, oof. You're gonna spoil your dinner. This dad thing can be hard or easy. <laughs> it's an ultimatum from a child. Don't let her see you. <laughs> Smart choice. Hello. Hello. Get a robe! Oh, shut up. <laughs> little brat. If I spoke like that to my parents, man, you do. I cannot even imagine the how badly I would get punished. Okay. One second. Okay, but you owe me. They seem cool together, the two of them. Yes, this is she. What happened? Oh, really? More school problems? One of the bands dropped out of the Wangle Tangle auditions. We are the first alternate. Okay. Okay. Finally. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, so that's my mom's rehearsal dinner. Oh, dang it. Don't worry, I'll work it out. Don't they make a big deal out of the rehearsal? Like all your weird relatives come into town? <laughs> Here's my Anna banana. Case in point. Grandpa, over here. <laughs> he just drops her? Was that her falling off to the side, that sound? Don't cancel the audition yet, okay? I'm gonna talk to my mom. Good luck. We're screwed. Yep. <laughs> they know. They know what it's like. So stupid to think about him, but I can't help it. Yay! Oh my gosh. I'm the check out those Lakers. I'm with you. <laughs> yes, that's the time to watch sports. See what happened to my door. Oh, she is ready. I spoke to your principal. Where's my door? Privacy is a privilege, Anna. 
explain to me why you were in detention twice? Stacy Hinkhouse kept hitting me on the head with a volleyball. That's somewhat true. You got an F in English today? Mr. Bates is out to get me. I think that might be partly true. The one time Jake even spoke to me, totally is Jake. He's just nobody. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Really amazing guy, Mom. Where'd you meet him? Detention. <laughs> You should have just kept it vague. I met at school. At school. Hey, who's up for Chinese? Ah, you're ruining my life! <laughs> I think Chinese food is a pretty good peace offering, no? Even as a teenager. Hello, 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 okay, I need to order Chinese food after this reaction. The door is underneath the back stairs. Like I didn't figure that out. He's trying. Stop groveling, man. Let her come to you. <laughs> come with a hatchet. <laughs> Go check on that duck. I mean, he's making an effort. Do you really think that your surliness is the best way for you to get what you want? I really have been stressing in school. And I deserved every single one of them. Is this sincere? And I'm going to apologize to Stacey Hankhouse and Mr. Bates. She is being sarcastic. All right, what do you want? To go to this really important audition. <laughs> Okay, I like how she saw through that immediately. During, you mean as instead of? Anna, I need to talk to you right now. Oh, great. Let's talk about it. I really want to understand. I really do want to understand. I think she does. Oh, mama, stay out of this. <laughs> <laughs> what is she gonna do? Anna, stop. This is about your dad, isn't it? Maybe. It's about the audition. You're ruining my life. Anna, high school is not that hard. <laughs> For some people, it's hard. You are not going to the audition. Yes, I am. Cookie. Is it a magic cookie? Uh, this isn't really a good time. <laughs> you can say that again. Okay. Is this how they swap, really? Fortune cookie? The entirety of our life not going to be focused on you. Honey. How symbolic, a literal wall between them, you know? It's like that shot from uh, Into the Spider-Verse when his dad's trying to talk to him. Journey soon. Oh, they get the same fortune. And selfless love will change you back. Whatever. Yeah, you said whatever a little too soon. Honey? Just like a California earthquake a little bit. Did you feel that? Feel what? It was just for the two of you. Well, what are they talking about? An earthquake. An earthquake? No. <laughs> Don't give him a heart attack. Jeez. It definitely is her, come on. If it's not, what are all these stairs for? He's like, this'll teach him a lesson, which it probably will, actually. At midnight? Did it happen right there? This is such like a, almost like a horror movie above shot in the house. Better get up, I'd better. <laughs> cool POV shot there, too. In Anna's room. How much did I drink last night? Those aren't mine. That's not mine. <laughs> Mom's dead. I'm dead. <laughs> See? She's not moving. Oh my. Let her sleep in. Let her sleep in. Her chest is moving. Honey, see? You call me honey. Are you sick? Kind of. <laughs> or dreaming. Or tripping. Hun, Harry, uh, go get your own breakfast. Cool. I like how Lindsay Lohan has changed her mannerisms, you know, even her speech pattern sounds a little different. Hello in there. <laughs> nice drool there. Nice touch. Wake up. Wake up. Honestly, this is waking me up in the morning. Or honestly, in the middle of the night, too. Just hard to wake up. Uh, uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Some things don't change, no matter what body you're in. Honey. That's such a great reaction. Not my mother. I am. Get away, you clone freak! <laughs> oh my god, you are my mother. <gasps> <gasps> Look at me! She looks so horrified. I'm old! <laughs> like the Crypt Keeper! Okay, that's enough. <laughs> oh my god, my wedding's tomorrow. Ah, uh, I can't marry Ryan! <laughs> Go to the emergency room. All that'll get us is a 72-hour lockdown in the psych ward and a Thorazine drip. Probably true, right? You're in my body and I'm in your body. Will they remember the fortune cookie? A jolt! Okay, you go over there and I go over here. Ready? Yeah. What? Go! You're just running at each other? <laughs> oh. Okay. I don't think that's the first idea I would have thought of. Um, I was just teaching mom some new... Yoga moves. Dance, yeah, but even better. Punk? <laughs> <laughs> you 
not to talk to him. This must have been so much fun for Jamie Lee Curtis, I swear. Maybe we are crazy. I, for one, am not. I'm merely a grown woman trapped in my daughter's body. <laughs> oh, God, I am crazy. <laughs> That's probably what I would think, or that I'm dreaming. Okay, Harry's still Harry, and Grandpa's still Grandpa. Yeah, I mean, you guys are the only one who felt the earthquake. You have to remember that. Pass the milk. He can't hear you. Pass the milk! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's gonna be scared about this forever. Someone let him know it's okay. Honey! Okay. <laughs> he's like, progress, progress. <laughs> I, I guess you're not, not ready yet, huh? <laughs> I thought you said you needed a ride to work. Right! Um, Feeling sick. I guess you better hurry up. Get a grip. I am. <laughs> Darling, could you like chill for a sec? <laughs> sure, sure, I'll chill. I'll like go get your dad. It's like, who am I getting married to? The earthquake, and then Pepe's crazy mother pointing at me and pointing at you. Okay, good, good. They figured it out really quickly. You can't go to school like this. You have to. You have your honors qualifying exam today. Oh, dang. More reason to stay home? <laughs> I'm sure a high school level test would be quite simple for me. Uh, are you sure? You think you can be me? Watch me. Oh, everyone's out to get me. You're ruining my life. <laughs> Evan, I've been seeing him every day for the past three years. It's just my face. Oh, wait. Uh -uh. <laughs> what am I supposed to say to the freak? You are in no way to give anyone any advice. Just sit there and nod and pretend like you're taking notes, you know? Interesting. And if you must speak, simply say, how do you feel about that? That's not bad. Go get dressed. Well, good luck getting dressed without a door. <laughs> Couldn't resist that. That's pretty good considering how crazy their boarding is. You'll get used to this. <laughs> you pierced your navel? <laughs> My patients are not going to pay $150 to get therapy from a stripper. <laughs> Seth. <laughs> You're going to be confused today, man. <laughs> Feet down. Harry, could you settle down? <laughs> see? You see what he does behind your back? <laughs> Mom. Walk a mile in my shoes. Say to the whole car. Truly sorry I am for being sane control freak. <laughs> I'm the one who should be apologized for my flagrant disregard for anyone's feelings but my own. Oh, the level of passive aggressive is amazing and I love how he's clueless. Ooh, platinum, cool. Don't even think. Oh my gosh, imagine your teenager getting a hold of your credit cards. That's a scary thought. It's nothing, darling. <laughs> one more day. <laughs> He's like, help, help, what do I do? Even though my husband died, how quickly I've been able to get over it. Oh, dang. What do we have, a Hamlet situation? You managed to alien Ryan in my body. I'll be nice. But don't kiss him. <laughs> I want you back here at 11.45. You understand? All right. Are you using a tone with me? <laughs> Just the image of the teenage girl lecturing the mom is great. Can I go? Why? What are you so anxious about? Hey, Anna. <laughs> Chance. Just look at him. What? Don't even know it. I know he's too old for you. <laughs> oh my god, he's coming over here. Say hi back. My mother, Dr. Coleman. Hi. <laughs> he's gonna be like, I think your mom might be into me. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. <laughs> Walk with him. How is this gonna go? Okay, where are we going next? Harry's school? Oh, he can walk from here. <laughs> Run fast. <laughs> Trouble to drive him. Whatever. <laughs> I had enough, you know, but they're coming to town next week. Maybe you want to. Oh, with a haircut, you'd look quite presentable. <laughs> I guess I need a haircut too. But thanks anyway, Jason. <laughs> really, she's cleaning her hands. I mean, you see that filthy just because he rides a bike. Yeah, she's showing her true colors. Dang, dang, that was a good flip. That was a good stunt. Tell me what, would Jake give us the dirty details? Excuse me? <laughs> I don't believe in physical contact with the opposite sex. <laughs> and you girls would do well to follow my example. <laughs> I mean, not exactly blending in. Well. Whoa! <laughs> he moved in quick, careful. Cold sore, right there, big one. I don't big care. Oozer. No, 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 really, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> 
Ride home, you're gonna pick up the Volvo. Most definitely be picking up the Volvo. Just don't crash it, please. Hopefully your mom doesn't just have liability insurance. Oh, she's shopping. She is shopping. This is how people rack up credit card debt. I'm so the mom, clearly, in this scenario. <laughs> Oh, did you get a haircut too? Oh wow, she just couldn't resist that, huh? Oof, oof. <laughs> oh, make over, make over. It's like a teenage miscongeniality moment. Actually, kind of rocks it to be honest. It may be like a teenager style choice, but Jamie Lee Curtis can rock it. <laughs> holy, holy, just a phone call. I guess it's many phone calls. Dr. Dunn's office, I'm calling to confirm your root canal appointment. That's not fair! They're not my teeth! <laughs> cancel all clear by schedule for the day. Yeah, cancel. Line 27. Oh dang, she's glasses? She's blind! <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. See ya. <laughs> you look fantastic. Why? Are you canceling the session? Kevin? Evan! <laughs> shoot, shoot. Oh. Uh, Get that? No. Oh, so you don't answer your phone. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, great. That isn't bad enough shape. You're a liar! I'll get it. Yo. What? What? $10,000? For what? Halibut? Ew! Is he okay? What's going on back there? They having a panic attack? What's going on? Yeah. I'm canceling. Oh, great. So, Ethan. Evan! <laughs> I've seen him before. Where have I seen him before? In Psycho? Today oh. is a lovely day for a pop quiz. You have to be that guy. One question will be graded according to your answer. Oof, oof. I feel like, can I answer this? Let me see if I can answer this. Mr. Waters, describe the character of Hamlet. Uh, conflicted, inactive, frozen. Let's... He's, uh... Complicated. Bopping around, doesn't know which way's up. Kind of. I don't think the guy's got a clue. Kind of. You mean to say he is a... Who couldn't make up his... Mind. 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 I swear I had an economy teacher in college who literally was like this during exams. He was so cool. He would, like, give free answers out. He was a really chill guy. What are the central conflicts in Hamlet? Well, political, of course. Because Claudius usurped his father's throne of the undercurrents with his mother. Is he really seeing his father's ghost, or is he simply mad? She remembers more of the play than I do. He is seriously overreaching. Excuse me? F. F? <laughs> See, I do this teacher, right? He's not just like one of those hard teachers. He's out to get her. See? Started reading your new book. It makes me feel depressed. How do you feel about that? <laughs> depressed. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how she's sitting in the chair. That's so great. How do you feel about that? <laughs> in her diary, she keeps mentioning this boy. This is exactly how you do it. Keep nodding. Keep nodding. You're doing good. You read her diaries? Bad, bad mama. Movie. <laughs> she wouldn't be writing about it in her diary. She'd be out there doing it. <laughs> her best friend probably isn't talking to her because she probably likes this guy too. And now her best friend is acting like some psycho freak. She might be onto something here. This might be a good session. It's very uh, interesting. I never would have thought about it that way. Guess we're done. Am I crazy thinking that might have been decent advice? Maybe not. I don't know her history, but it could be good. May I please speak with you? I think that'd be fairly pointless, but go ahead. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy. What mistakes did I make? Rating is subjective. I most certainly am. <laughs> the words of Hamlet. What's done is done. That's Macbeth. You know nothing. <laughs> Griffith High School? You asked me. I mean, my mom to the prom. She turned you down. The, and he's taking it out on the daughter? That's how low and insecure this man is? Got to let it go and move on, man. She had a boyfriend. And you were weird. And still are. <laughs> I mean, that was great. That was great. That's a, that's where you need adults in high school sometimes. You really do. It's so weird about your mom. Oh, yeah, what did she say? That what? <laughs> She's like pulling the shirt down. That's such a great little touch. I wonder if that was directed or improvised. Your mom has never cared about our music. Never cared? <laughs> what do you think paid for all of those guitar lessons? And did she ever hear a thank you? No, I don't think so. Oh, that's a good point. She paid for lessons. She hasn't paid any attention to you since she started dating that guy. Look, girls. Guys. <laughs> Whatever, Anna.
Come on, change your mind. It's just one night. It's just a rehearsal dinner. It's not even the real thing. Is that because of her driving? Oh, I love how we just hear the sounds. Oh my gosh. Well, it looks a lot better than the car that Leo's driving from Wolf of Wall Street. You picked up my car? Yeah? Get out of the car, I'm driving. <laughs> She's so happy. What have you done to me? You like it? <laughs> Do you have your permit? No. <laughs> you look great. I look like Stevie Nick. And what are you doing with this? <laughs> Do not eat fast food. It will go down your throat and drop instantly to my thighs. <laughs> This food may make you blow up like a balloon, but it will do nothing whatsoever to me. Mm. <laughs> Mom, that's not fair. My first french fry in eight years. In eight years? Oh my gosh, that's a long time. <laughs> this is gonna turn. Hi, 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 you back so soon. Hey, sexy new look for you, Mrs. Coleman. <laughs> We'd like to speak to you about something that we think happened to us at your restaurant. Yeah, something that sucked. <laughs> that look. Oh. Mama! It happened to them, didn't it? Right? Her and her mom. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> she just turns around. We are Xian Guan Xian Shi. What did she say? Oh, <laughs> she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad timing. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you know exactly what we're talking about. Let's hit her. <laughs> Only you can fix it. When the fortune come true, then you go back, not before. Selfless love. Find the answer in each other. You go back, okay? No big deal. No big deal when it's not you that it's happening to. Fast? You're not going to do anything? How about 10% off catering? <laughs> 10%? That's it? I want to eat whatever I want when I want! Mommy. <laughs> oh! Parent-teacher conference! Of course, of course. I'll go to your school and I'll take your qualifying exam and everything will be okay. <laughs> Little pep talk from your daughter. Mom? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Coleman. Uh, all right. <laughs> about Harry. He he is a sweet boy. But? But he's having a little trouble with bullies. It's character building. <laughs> he's having a little problem in math. He'll fit in, you know what I mean? <laughs> the teacher's like, are you on drugs? Wrote a wonderful paper about your daughter. Wow. That's surprising. That's such good acting from Jamie Lee Curtis, I swear. Well, don't tell her I like her. We have too much fun fighting. That is really cool, though, that she got to see that, right? Good luck flunking. Take care of her. First you tealed about dealt with the teacher, now her. Why this falling out? I know I got involved with my music. The mature route is not going to work, though, right? That's not nearly as fun. I mean, all of those years of trick-or-treating, how do you feel about that? Sit with me? Uh, no, no. That was not a friendly smile. Come on. <gasps> Don't kiss me. Don't kiss me. The hair. Stay away. <laughs> You're going to be happy with me. I seriously doubt that. <laughs> was <he> sore? <laughs> that was great. That was great. I think that was actually her. We have to go anyway. No, no, really. I just have no, to go no, up. We we have to oh, come on. She needs it. Oh. Relax, open. You're on the Dottie Robertson show. That's the surprise? I got you on the Dottie Robertson show. To talk about that book? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Because We're uh, ready for you now, Dr. Yes. Coleman. I would not want a surprise appearance on TV. Come on. Okay. Watch your step. <laughs> what is this thing? Through the looking glass. What? What is pi again? Three point something? 3.14, come on. But I would fail this test, by the way. D2. This is fake nice. This is all a setup to be really Sprash, mean. she's copying my test. Oh, that. Wow, wow. Dang. That should be a she said, she said situation, no? Who is it? You cheated? Oh. I did not cheat. Don't you smirk at me. <laughs> then why are you in detention all the time? I, I'm not in detention. I work here. Oh, look, he's responsible. He's got a job in high school. Any He's gonna know what the word senescence means. Do you know what it is? No. Please to sit still. We keep the test in fire. <laughs> Real footage from a teacher's lounge. Where's the empty, like, coffee pots now? That's me, editing, at 1 a.m. Oh gosh, thank you. You really are something, Jake. Look at that, she's coming around. Loved your book. I actually read this one. <laughs> 
Me, on the other hand, I hired a ghostwriter. What can I say? Hi, and welcome back. We're here with Dr. Tess Coleman. Just channel your inner walking phoenix. Do it. Trust me. So, doctor, tell us about your new book. Dramatic pause. Well, I wrote it. <laughs> and that's like senile. Old people. Got it. Got it. <laughs> much of the time I've been craving caffeine all day I thought I was dying <laughs> well that's not bad the crowd's laughing okay good good time for a little payback here you're just gonna erase everything or is she gonna fill in wrong answers fill in the wrong answers okay or do that that looks too obvious of a sabotage though you gotta be subtle about it for it to work no why are we so tired well it's a part of life. We're demanding and hectic. And well, I thought you were going to go full Tom Cruise there for a second. Spend all their time of stupid, lame things like cooking. Have you never heard of takeout? <laughs> Let's don't and say we did. <laughs> your kids. Quit bugging them. <laughs> they like it. Crowd loves her. Come on. This is has to be good promotion. <laughs> Called reading between the lines. <laughs> this cute guy asks you out. What are you going to do? <laughs> Now she's channeling Tony Robbins, honestly. <laughs> this guy's hot. What are you gonna do? God, your mom's cool. <laughs> right, I agree with him. I agree with him, man. <laughs> oh, she is dead. You know how hard it is to win over an audience so effortlessly? That takes skill. I've gotta get home. I've gotta get home. The ratings for this segment killed, by the way. Look at this, look at this. Imagine if this is how good it was on Kimmel or something. <laughs> Listen, I need you to give me a ride. You know what? I'm late for my second job. Wow, he's got two jobs. I mean, I saw what you did to Stacy's test. You're too young for me. <laughs> he's got standards. First time Tessie's work hasn't put me to sleep. And I might even read one of those books. <laughs> same, same, right? Uh, Dottie had her escorted from the building 10 minutes ago, sir. Escorted out? Look, she signed my butt. <laughs> Can I have a uh, quad shot caramel latte? Ms. Coleman? What are you doing here? Working. Was she nice to you? She was stressing a little. You know, if she wasn't, I'd have to punish her. <laughs> no mama listens to the vines. We punish anybody. You like the vines? I got the bootleg. Shot off. <laughs> He's going to fall in love with the bomb. <laughs> I love this song. This cover's classic. It's my vibe. Give me a... Someone play Mrs. Robinson. No? Someone? Hit me, baby, <laughs> one more time. That's what they're all thinking. <laughs> The realization, uh... Wedding rehearsal. <laughs> okay, whose? Mine. <laughs> He's like, dang it, I thought you were single. I don't know what's going on here, okay? I don't know what... I feel like I know you. Well, you do. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, great. <laughs> this is gonna... <laughs> yes. Of all the stoplights in all the world, it had to be that one. <laughs> Best day ever. You needed to be dressed a half hour ago. Young lady. Young lady. Role playing. <laughs> New therapeutic technique. Switching points of view. That's pretty good. Pretty good excuse. Earthquake, save me, earthquake. Ooh, Get man. back. <laughs> Career killing TV appearance. Perhaps my body's makeover from hell. <laughs> to a word I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> oh, Mom, he is so awesome. <laughs> Do what you want. Marry the dude. Just don't make me do it, okay? Dang, not gonna be that easy. <sighs> Privacy is a privilege, Anna. Yes! <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing on the eve of our wedding. <laughs> Straddling some guy on the back of a big black Harley. <laughs> I, I didn't really even know the guy. I, I, I... He's a friend of mine. I just had to beg her to check him out for me. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like how the mom is better at thinking on her feet of kind of realistic sounding excuses. That's so real. And she approves. And that's all she needs to hear. Now she's so happy. Really? Snap! I mean, any guy who worked two jobs in high school, I respect that. Let's do this thingy. You mean our wedding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a big solid. You owe her now. Who's that? Oh, dang, really? Really? Hit me, baby. <laughs> holy, holy shit, straight up tackles him? Okay, shoves him. How can you possibly entertain ideas about you and a woman her age? She looks great. <laughs> <laughs> you really need to find someone your own age. <laughs> <laughs> Will this work, though? You're 
Beautiful. Wait, you're not her. Yeah, see? See? <laughs> I like how she slaps him. I'll give you one thing. He definitely likes you for your mind. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, he's kind of like a thoughtful, soulful guy in that sense. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping this is as disastrous as I think it's going to be. All right, let's do this. What, are you gonna try to sneak her out? I'd love to. It's just that I'm meeting thousands of hundred-year-old people. <laughs> but he doesn't make them any less old. <laughs> then selfless love will change you back. Oh, great. So that means we're stuck like this forever. <laughs> let's try to be selfless. Give me your hands. Oh, no, this won't work. This will not work. I'm being selfless. Are you being selfless? That's not how selflessness works. <gasps> It's Jake. He missed a Oh my gosh. <gasps> they literally kidnapped her. <laughs> don't scream. I can't. I don't make me do this. <laughs> dang, dang. <laughs> They're determined to make it. Oh. Holy, holy. <laughs> if Ryan sees you here, it will blow everything. When I look into your eyes, I... Stop it. <laughs> Believe me. It's not me you like, it's Ed. Bartender's like, I've seen weirder. You're the exciting one, the musical one. I'm tone deaf. Tess? Oh my gosh, if he sees this, how is she gonna talk her way out of it? My earring, I found it, I thought I lost it. Guys? You know anything about that? Couldn't we just borrow Anna for like 20 minutes? I am appalled at you two. <laughs> what? Go. Oh dang, making an executive decision. What are you still doing here? Go, right now. Thank you, thank you. He probably just like, get out of my rehearsal place. When I fell in love with you, I knew you came with a history and a family, and I respect the hell out of that. See, I knew this guy was a cool guy. I never pushed Anna because I want her to like me on her own terms. That's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Cheering her on. That's where I want you to be. But go on. That's so cool. Wow. Where's your luck for me? Okay. <laughs> I like how he kind of like made that decision in that moment, too. Okay, Battle of the Bands, how will this go? I've got ID for one. Thanks. Pricey ID'd her, right? <laughs> so, it's a good crowd out there. What's gonna happen? Is Jamie Lee Curtis gonna take over the performance? Since when do you get nervous? Yeah, we'll still love you, even if it blows. That's a really cool way to take the pressure off, you know? Don't forget we changed the chord progression in the first verse from CCD to CDC. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd play the key of rock. Yeah. <laughs> Call me. Oh my gosh, he's obsessed. Let's give it up for Kate Slip. I mean, how, what is she gonna do? She doesn't know how to play. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? You can't even play properly. <laughs> Just take over. Get on the stage. Just. I mean, come on, it's so obvious she's not actually playing, right? <laughs> I mean, hopefully the crowd just rolls with it. Is that Jamie Lee Curtis playing? <laughs> I love her awkward movements and dances. I mean, a rough start, but a strong finish, right? I think you guys are definitely in. It's exciting, your music. Oh my god, Brian! Okay, well that went well. My first wedding went like this, you know. She ran away with the florist. Really? Oh gosh. What's wrong? I have to ask you to do something for me. What? I need you to tell Ryan that you need to postpone the wedding. Oh dang. I can see you're not ready for this, and I can wait. He'll wait too. He'll understand. I think he will. Please let him know that I love him. I know exactly what to say. You do? Um... You should sit down. <laughs> well, I like her opening. I'm gonna start the toast. Three years ago, we lost a father and a husband. And I didn't think we'd ever be able to get over it. This guy came into the picture. And everybody could see I was happy again. But I was still really worried about my kids. Whether they'd be able to accept. And, and now I know how Anna feels. That's very true. And what she feels is that no one could ever take the place of her dad. But somebody could be part of a new family. That's such a great speech, too, man. That for someone special, Ryan, we would all just make a little room. Anna really wanted her mom to know that. All right, look at that. That counts as selfless love, right? 
Here we go, here we go, right on cue. Earthquake, just... Oh, everyone felt it though. <laughs> this time he's right, he's like, oh, my fears are realized. Do they have to wait till midnight or will the switch happen instantly? It happened, right? She's like, dang it, I should have had a few more fries. <laughs> Brian, welcome to our family. To the bride and groom. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Trust me, you don't want to know. <laughs> Probably not. I love you. I love you too. Oh, look who it is. Jax Teller himself. Gotcha. He's like, I no longer love your mom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yesterday was freaky. I see your mom, and I like her. I mean, I like her. I like her. Wow, I'm surprised he's saying all this. He's very honest. Rewind this whole thing and start again. I'd like that. I'm thinking about that kiss. Kiss? <laughs> well, your mom, uh... Her mom screams in the background. All right, that's enough. Just one. She asked that girl to dance. No way. Youth is wasted on the young. <laughs> Sometimes. Like if I was your age, oh, cookie. Careful. Who's he gonna swap with? Mama, what are you doing? She loves doing this. She loves doing this. This is what she does. Oh my gosh, really? Is it gonna happen? <laughs> Holy, careful, the elderly. You tackle them, man. Hey. What an ending. What an ending, man. All right, so that is Freaky Friday. Had a lot of fun with that movie. I mean, it definitely followed that premise, like I thought, with the body swap. And it followed kind of the trajectory you would expect in a movie like this, right? You kind of have that general premise, walk a mile in someone else's shoes, especially with a mother-daughter, with a little bit of tension, a little bit of strain in their relationship. And by the end of the movie, they kind of learn some lessons, have a little bit more understanding for everyone, right? But, you know, in movies, you know, it's 90% the execution of idea, not really the novelty of an idea. I feel like very rarely do you have a movie that's super, super original, so I don't think those familiar kind of plot points and story beats worked against it. And what was really working in the favor of this movie was just the charm of it overall, like the tone of it was just very kind of light and sweet. I don't think the movie took itself too seriously, but it also had sincere moments of heart, you know what I mean? It wasn't just like, let's just have laughs. It was like, let's have a sweet little message throughout the movie movie about understanding and family and I do like how you know most of the characters you just needed to see things from their perspective to understand that they really cared like the stepfather in her life who classically stepmothers or stepfathers can be kind of evil villainous characters and at least in the Disney lore but he was a really decent guy who cared not only about the woman he was getting married to but about the whole family you know like that is a really cool attitude and even like her younger brother who was like terrorizing her I mean he was a brat don't get me wrong I would never get away with some of his behavior at his age i just i cannot imagine <laughs> anyone with strict parents can, can you imagine behaving like that it was cool in the sense of like him kind of teasing his sister which it does happen between siblings for sure and really kind of like teasing her a lot and not the nicest way but he probably is kind of a troubled kid himself they mentioned trouble with bullies but by reading that paper i thought that was a really sweet moment that uh, Lindsay lohan was able to kind of learn that you know, her brother did look up to her. And I do think that is true. Like if you are an older sibling, you might not realize how much your younger sibling looks up to you and kind of admires you and emulates you, but they really do a lot of the time. That's very, very common. Also that Jamie Lee Curtis is acting in that scene. And just overall, I think, I mean, Lindsay Lohan was really good in this movie, but to me, the crown goes to Jamie Lee Curtis, which makes sense. She's a veteran actor, but both of them did a really good job in their roles. And it seemed like they're having a great time. Like once that body swap happened, and like that's when the movie really kicked into gear and we got to see them kind of flex the the change in their attitudes and their personality and their line delivery and I just love the attention to detail and just how committed they seem to kind of embodying the other person but for Jamie Lee Curtis it just seemed like she was having an absolute blast and she's such a great actress as well on top of that it really made it feel like her performance was effortless but that takes years and years of work, not to mention an immense talent, to make a performance seem that effortless, at least in my opinion. No, I'm not an actor, but I mean, come on. It, it must have been fun for her to be just like pouting and whining and dodging kisses and jumping away and just doing all of that stuff. You know, being hopelessly in love, holding on to the back of the motorcycle. That was a great moment as well. It, I mean, it's kind of a silly movie, obviously, but it does make me wonder. Like, I, I do think there's a lot of truth 
in the expression walk a mile in my shoes. I mean, there's that amazing episode where the amazing two episodes of Buffy where Faith and Buffy swap, right? And that's, you know, that was so much fun watching those episodes. But that premise is a very interesting premise because imagine if you could actually do that, right? Like if you could swap with somebody, whether it's your parent or not, I do feel like no matter who you swapped with, it would really give you a profound understanding of just of so much like I I almost wish that was something you could do temporarily of course you know like but it would be so I feel like revealing and I also feel like it would help so much um, with increase your empathy and your sympathy towards other people and their situations and circumstance kind of similar to how it played out in this movie right you know I even appreciate how there are moments where you know Jamie Lee Curtis was impressed by what her daughter does you know things that she thought she cared about like she thought she cared about her daughter playing in the band because she paid for the lessons and she let them use the garage but she didn't really understand what it took the effort and not to mention the skill that her daughter had right also side note there are some very satisfying moments you know especially when she stood up to that teacher i mean come on that guy was that guy was next level i mean what a loser i do wish we had had another scene with the bully right i mean i guess she kind of got her revenge erasing the test i wonder if there's a deleted scene i've something about that whole arc felt like it was a little bit incomplete i wish where there had been one more like kind of showdown between that girl who used to be her friend in high school i just think that would have been cool but like i said it, i just feel like it would be so fascinating imagine actually being able to do that because no matter how much you intellectualize what it's like in someone else's experience and that's a helpful exercise to do to kind of empathize with somebody else but it's not the same as living that experience it just it can't be you know i mean you can watch a movie about someone else's circumstances i mean i feel like i've had some revealing moments like traveling and like seeing other parts of the world and other countries that make me really reflect on the circumstances that I grew up in, you know, and, and it's been able to, those experiences like that have been able to make me really consider how absolutely different my entire life experience, who I am, everything would be if I just was geographically located in a different area. You know what I mean? Like that would just change everything about every, almost every mindset I have, every thought I have, you know, even if I had the exact same personality and looks, you know, and that's just one factor. But that pales in comparison to actually living in someone else's body because the, the power of that experience, right? It's like the closest we can come is maybe watching a movie and like really relating to someone else or I don't know what the most immersive experience that can really help you understand what it would be like for somebody else. But man, it would be just awesome if they had the technology where it's like, okay, live for a day as this type of person, live for a day as your, your parents. You know, that would be interesting. I'm sure if I did that, I would learn things about them and about parenting and about life that I just can't at this point, you know? Anyone else feel this way? Sorry, I feel like it's kind of a serious tangent for a very silly, fun movie, but I really did enjoy the movie. Like I said, really the charm of it is what won me over, especially with Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis. I mean, it just overall is a very sweet in its tone. So I had a lot of fun with that one. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. As always, the full unedited reaction is up on Patreon if you'd care to watch along with me and support the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who does. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a... Hero.